My name is Brent Holtz and I'm the uh, University of California Farm Advisor in uh, San Joaquin County of Almonds and I'm also the County Director there. This machine is uh, made by a company called the Iron Wolf and it's basically about a hundred thousand pound uh, rock crusher that typically crushes rocks or or breaks up ice in uh, Canada. But this is the first time we've had a machine like, like this uh, in an almond orchard in San Joaquin Valley and and we're looking at uh, experimenting with the possible benefits of, of putting all this organic matter back into our orchard soils. It's a two-step process. It pushes the trees over, uh, grinds them up, and then the, the iron wolf head, which weighs 30,000 pounds, can rotate up on its side and then, and then become a big rototiller and then can go backwards over the ground and rototiller it all into the ground. In the trial where we did previously, we estimated it was about 30 tons per acre of organic matter that we put back in the soil. It took about three years in that trial, we compared pushing the trees and burning them and spreading the ashes to grinding the trees up. And we saw benefits from spreading the ashes too, but we saw uh, nitrogen and potassium levels increase in our soil and our leaf tissue of the next generation tree and we also saw sodium levels decrease. And, and we don't know the exact mechanism, but that's a very important because sodium is increasing in our San Joaquin Valley. We're having a lot of salt issues, especially with five years of drought. So one of the benefits of adding this organic matter could be uh, reduced sodium uptake by the trees. And we saw the organic matter lower the pH. In a lot of orchards, we have alkali soils with with high pHs, so there just seems to be many benefits, and and we haven't found any any uh, detriments except that it's it's hard to work the ground right after this process because there's a, a lot of organic matter sticking out of the of the soil. The main idea of this meeting was to get growers thinking about how they could return their organic matter back into their soils, whether it's by a large machine like this or whether it's a tub grinder and, and a spreading process, but and there's other machines like, like this one too that are used in four situations that we might be demonstrating in the future.